Hi faculty, this is Michelle, your friendly learning technologies person. Uh, I wanted to give you a little movie on uh, our moving from 2.4 Moodle up to 2.7. Um, I know that that had caused some stress amongst the faculty last time, and I wanted to assure you that this kind of an update won't cause the same kind of problem as the previous one, but I do want you to see all of the cool new enhancements that we're going to be getting with this new version. Um, the, one of the reasons why we're moving is um, that this new version has a better response on all devices. So if you were on an iPad or if you were on a tablet or on a phone, you're going to be able to use this new version of Moodle. Um, another thing you'll notice is that there's enhanced increased internet security because we're going to be using HTTPS colon slash slash in the address at the top instead of just HTTP. This enhances our internet security and allows our site to be much safer. Um, this version that we're moving to is going to have a longer support, uh, so about three years worth of support, so we may not have to upgrade as often. And then this is really going to enhance the performance of our uh, the site. So one of the first things you'll notice is that we don't have it, the theme is going to be exactly the same. You're not going to have to worry about changing the theme in this um, in this Moodle. So everything's going to look the same, and all your tools are in the same spot. The one thing you'll notice right away, though, is how easy it is to edit your course activities and to move them around. You'll notice that here. Instead of having to click the little uh, the little bar on the side, now your moving bars are right out here to the left, and you can easily move all of your items around. Also, the way that you're going to edit those tools that you have inside your course is over on the right side. So you'll notice where it says Edit. You click on the little Edit bar, and down folds your edit tools for that assignment. Um, let's talk a little bit about um, when we're editing uh, some of the tools. So I'm going to come over here and edit one of my assignments. So here's just a test assignment. I'm going to click on Edit Settings. Right here, you'll notice that the uh, first thing you're going to notice is the rich, rich Text Editor has been updated. And it can be expanded as it currently is, or it can fold up like that. So you can go all expanded. It has all the tools that our current one has. It works a little bit nicer and it also looks a little bit more modern. And this is what the students are going to see as well. Uh, as we come down, you'll notice that each one of the items for this assignment is uh, expandable and can collapse. So if you were used to only using the grade section of this, you have that option or if you were to just put in what the different kinds of submission settings are, all those settings will fold down and then fold back up again. So it makes it a little bit neater when you're working on your assignments. Another thing you're going to notice in assignments are there's some changes in your submission types. So if you click this down and you'll notice something that says online text. What that allows you to do is to put an assignment where the information is added right into the window. Instead of ha uploading a separate file, someone can do an assignment and add that online text right into the assignment. What's nice about this version is that if you have this online text clicked, then and you can go in and edit right within that window to give them feedback right for their assignment. So this is a place where you can click that and then they're going to be able to, they'll have a window that they could put their assignment directly into the window. Another great new option is the ability to drag and drop media right into your course. So as we're looking here at um, my course, let's say I wanted to bring in a picture right into my week one. I can bring up my folder and let's say I wanted to bring this picture into my course. I just click and drag it over and you can add files and say add an image and say upload. All right, and just in a few seconds you'll notice that that photo is right there on my, on my 
um, course outline. The other thing that you could do is you could put that inside folders, you could put those on um, pages, you could put them inside labels. So that's a really handy shortcut way of doing that. One of the new features is being able to see your folders inline or expanded. And so to be able to do that, I'm going to turn on editing. You can state whether here, whether it's inline or on a separate page. So here, if you choose on a separate page, it'll just have the folder like it currently, that we currently use them where you click on the folder and you could see all of the resources on a separate page, or you could say inline on the course page, and that will allow you to see it the way I have it where you could see all of the items inside, or you can minimize it so that they're not necessarily out there for everyone to see all the time. So that's just a, a new feature here. Um, the next feature that we're, I want to show you is about grading. Okay, so when I'm in an assignment and I want to grade uh, a PDF, uh, now this won't work with uh, Microsoft Word documents, but if someone uploads a PDF document, you can annotate it right inside of Moodle. So if I were looking at something like this, I've already graded this assignment from Samantha, but let's just go back and look at how you can um, annotate and uh, give feedback right within a PDF in this new version of Moodle. So I click on Grade. And then down here at the bottom, um, note where it says Launch PDF Edit Editor. What that does is bring up the actual document that the student has um, given you, given you, and you can choose to put in some comments. You can draw lines. You can uh, highlight. You can draw circles, so on and so forth. So, for instance, if I wanted to add a new note, I can go ahead and click, and now I can add um, try again here. So I can add a little comment right into the PDF so the student can see um, my notes without necessarily, there will be two versions. There will be the student's version when they see it, and they will also see an annotated version so that they could um, do some feedback, or I'm sorry, some um, revisions and then turn it back in. So let's just see a few of the different options, like here's a circle. Um, here is uh, some place where you can squiggle. Uh, if you want to highlight any information, you can do some highlighting. Oops, here, let's try it. Highlighting, um, things like that. Uh, if you want to put in a uh, symbol, you can do that. Uh, so that's uh, one of the really great things. So then when you're done, you don't have to save it. You just say click and you say you can notify your students here that you have um, done some feedback for each one of their files. That will send them an email so that they know that you've done this. Click save the changes. All right. And then let's see what it's going to look like from the student's point of view. So if I'm looking at it from the student's point of view, here's like just a their grade sheet. I come down to that test assignment. Here they can see their original that they had submitted, and down below you can see the PDF version with all the annotations, or they can bring up that same viewer the way we were looking at it. So if I they look at it with the viewer here, or they could click the PDF version and see it. It downloaded down below, and they can see it in their PDF version. So their original and then the version that we worked on with the P with the uh, little markings um, are right in here. Again, can't do this with Microsoft Word, but you can do it with PDFs. I hope this helps, and if you have any questions about any of the new parts of Moodle or any questions at all, know that I'm always here to help um, and willing to learn some of the new things. If you want to try some new things in your class, I would love to work with you to do that. 
All right, great. Have a great weekend.